Wednesday marked the 20th anniversary of the first basketball game here at the Event Center. In the 20 years since, this building has hosted not only countless basketball games, but volleyball and wrestling matches, track and field meets, commencement ceremonies, concerts, job fairs, RV shows, you name it. To commemorate the first two decades of the Event Center, here's a countdown of the top 10 best men's basketball games in Event Center history. Number 10, December 13th and 30th, 2007. In a two-week span, the Bearcats hosted and beat a pair of Atlantic 10 teams. On December 13th, it was a 71-59 win over George Washington in front of 3,022 fans. Senior forward Lazar Trafunovic led the way with 23 points. It was the program's first ever win over an A-10 team. The second win would come just days later on the 30th with a 64-59 win over St. Bonaventure in front of a crowd of 3,934. Trifunovic again scored 23 and the Bearcats went 8-for-8 eight eight from the foul line in the final 49 seconds to seal the win. Number 9, February 21st, 2012. With the Vermont Catamounts in town riding a 10-game win streak, junior guard Jimmy Gray made two free throws with four seconds left to clinch the 57-53 win, toppling the eventual conference champion Catamounts and snapping the Bearcats' 27-game losing streak. Many of the 2,427 fans in attendance rushed the court to celebrate the win. Number 8, November 23rd, 2022. Down by four, Jacob Falco drains a 23-footer to pull the Bearcats within one. On the ensuing inbounds, John McGriff steals the ball, steps behind the arc in the corner, and swishes a three-pointer with 1.3 seconds left to give the Bearcats an 81-79 lead. Columbia's full court heave banged off the backboard, securing the Binghamton win. The comeback made SportsCenter's top 10 and went viral on social media with more than 900,000 views. Number 7, January 25th, 2006. A season-high 4,450 fans packed the event center to watch the Bearcats take on defending America East champion Vermont, and they got a good one to the tune of a double overtime thriller. Sebastian Hermanier scored all 17 of his points from the free throw line, including a perfect four for four in the second overtime period, helping lead the Bearcats to a 61-60 win. It remains the longest game in event center history. Number six, January 31st, 2007. With just 0.6 seconds left and trailing by one, senior guard Mike Gordon banked an inbounds pass off of a Stony Brook defender's back and converted the layup as time expired to give Binghamton a 66-65 win. The play was number six on SportsCenter's top 10 that night. It was Gordon's second buzzer-beating bucket in a five-game span, doing it two weeks earlier at Hartford. Number five, March 4th, 2006. In the America East quarterfinals, two-seed Binghamton hosted seven-seed Maine. With a two-point lead with 7.40 remaining, the Bearcats used a decisive 10-0 run late in the game to push past the Black Bears in the 71-62 win in front of 4,407 fans and punch their tickets to the conference semifinals for the second straight year. 19 of senior guard Andre Hurd's game-high 24 points came in the second half, and junior forward Dwayne James added a 13-point, 10-rebound double-double. Number 4, March 5th, 2005. With Binghamton still in search of its first ever America East tournament win, a battle of SUNY rivals came down to the wire. Despite a game-high 19 points from sophomore guard Troy Haley and 18 from junior guard Andre Hurd, the Bearcats saw their 14-point cushion trimmed to just three in the final minutes. But Hurd and junior forward Sebastian Hermanier each sank clutch free throws in the final seven seconds to give the Bearcats the 76-70 win and their first D1 postseason victory. Number 3, February 26, 2009. With a packed house of 5,222, the Bearcats hosted the reigning champion UMBC Retrievers in the regular season finale with the number one seed up for grabs. Binghamton led by eight at the half 
and used a 44 point second half to pull away for the 71-51 win. Binghamton had five players in double figures led by junior guard Tiki Mabin's 18 points. As the buzzer sounded, a swarm of Binghamton students flooded the court to celebrate the regular season championship and the Bearcats clinching a berth into a national tournament. Number two, January 31st, 2004. After years of planning and construction and anxious anticipation, the brand new $33.1 million Binghamton University Event Center opened its doors for the first time with a sellout standing room only crowd of 4,660 on hand to watch Binghamton host Hartford. The Alaskan assassin junior center Nick Billings tallied the unconventional double-double of 13 rebounds and 10 blocks to go with his eight points. Senior guard Brandon Carter scored 27 points, including 24 in the second half, and sealed the historic 75-68 win with eight free throws in the final 38 seconds. Of those 4,660 in attendance, more than 1,200 were students packed into the South Bleachers. The first game capped a journey of more than five years that began when Governor George Pataki approved the plan in April of 1998. The design phase then began in 1999 with groundbreaking in June 2000. Number one, March 14th, 2009. Airing live on ESPN2, the America East Championship game was a rematch of conference powerhouses from just two weeks prior. A standing room only and event center record crowd of 5,342 poured into the event center in hopes of seeing Binghamton win its first ever America East basketball title. It was the second largest crowd in the 30 year history of the America East Championship and they were treated to a thriller. Senior forward and tournament most outstanding player Reggie Fuller scored a game-high 19 and pulled in 10 rebounds, with DJ Rivera adding 16 points of his own. The Bearcats' defense shut down the Retrievers over the game's final five minutes to seal a 61-51 win and a historic first conference championship. As the horn sounded, a wild celebration was ignited as fans emptied onto the court to celebrate the first NCAA tournament bid in program history. Five days later, the Bearcats made their tournament debut in front of 20,000 against two-seed Duke in Greensboro, North Carolina. So there are your top 10 men's basketball games in Event Center history, hopefully a list that will need some updating very soon. Happy 20th anniversary event center and many, many more.